What's good, y'all? I am back here with another tutorial for y'all. We're gonna do the screen pack tutorial. This tutorial is in a sauce up your Mugens. All right, so before we get started though, if you enjoy these tutorials or find them helpful, please subscribe because a lot of people are watching it but are not subscribed, so help me out here. All right, anyways, let's get started. So if you've been following the tutorials, you should have the Mugen 1.1 like this. And it should look something like this. And you might have uh, a couple of characters here and there. And maybe a few levels. So this is the basic right here. This is kind of what it should look like. But now let's get some screen packs so we can spice it up a little bit. All right. So what we're going to do, step one here. We're gonna go to Mugen Archive. So that's like the holy grail. So we're gonna go to MuginArchive.com. Okay, Mugen Archive, uh-oh, I spelled it wrong. All right, Mugen Archive. It's gonna load up, yada, yada. All right, so you should be on the home page like this. Hopefully you already have an account you signed up and everything. So we're going to go to the downloads tab right here. Downloads. All right. And we're going to scroll down and go to add ons. So look for the add ons category right here. And we're going to go to the screen pack section screen packs. So click that. This will take you to all the screen packs here, everything you can download for screen packs. All right, so we are going to download this one right here. Let's go with the Minecraft screen pack 1.0, just to test it out here. So click on Minecraft screen pack 1.0, or you can get whatever you want. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get this Minecraft one here. All right, so this will be the page that gives you the reviews and whatnot about the screen pack. The reviews will come down here. You can see if you like it. You got a YouTube video and some pictures of what it's going to look like, what you can expect from it. All right. And let's click download right here. So download screen pack. I already downloaded it. So it, mine's down here. It popped up already. I already finished downloading it. So you guys can go ahead and download. All right, when it's done, click on this here and then go to show in folder so you can find where it downloaded to. So mine downloaded into the downloads folder. So here it is right here. So we're gonna click on it. Hopefully you already have the, the uh, WinRAR. To open these type of files, you're gonna need the WinRAR, um, the WinRAR program which you can find in my first tutorial and that will help you open these type of files here. All right. So when you, when you open it up here, you have it open in the Rinrar program. You are going to drag and drop, drag and drop it onto for now for this tutorial, we'll put it on the desktop. So just drag and drop it to your desktop. Mine's right here. I already did it. Okay. Then you can just close this out. You'll have a folder like this, which is the screen pack right here. This is the screen pack. All right, so let's open this folder up. And it looks just like the Mugen we have. Everything's here. We have the characters, data, and all that. So now let's click on the exe file to open it up. And there you go. Now we have ourselves a pretty clean Minecraft Mugen right here. So let's go to, let's check out the, uh, the menu selection character here. So you can see it has its own, uh, set up here, Minecraft style in the back and all that. All right. So yours probably came with the character right here. Most of them come with like the Minecraft character. All right. So yeah, so basically that is the screen pack right here. If you already have your characters, 
There you go. So it has like its own little like loading screen. Round one. And you might have other levels. Probably not though. But anyways, that's how it's going to look. If you already have your Mugen and you already have characters that you already like started in your previous uh, Mugen 1.1 base version that uh, we worked on earlier and you want to like get your characters onto this one. What you're going to have to do is in the screen pack folder here, go into characters. Um, well, let me delete these because I already imported my characters here. So in reality, let me delete the ones I imported already. Hold on, so just ignore this little section here. Here you go. So in reality, this is what it will look like for you. You might have the Minecraft character, but the screen pack will come like this. Just uh, one or two characters in there. Okay. So if you want to import your characters from your previous Mugen into the screen pack, what you're going to do is go to your original Mugen here. This one here. This is the original that we were working on and go to the characters okay then you're gonna want to drag and drop your characters into the character folder or you can copy them so let's highlight it this guy's already there and this guy's already here so we don't need a double of them so let's highlight the ones that are not in the new one copy and then paste. All right, so we're gonna paste our older characters into this new screen pack Mugen. All right, here we go. So now we have the characters in the file of the screen pack. So we have one more step we gotta do. We have to write them into the game. All right, so let's go back, go to data and go to the select.def and it's gonna look similar to the other one. There'll be some cases, okay, so Steve's here. So, so there'll be some cases where you can drag and drop your select.def from your previous Mugen into the new screen pack, but sometimes that causes like problems, like uh, your characters won't be lined up into the screen pack correctly or your characters will be all over the place they won't be lined up in the correct areas on the screen pack character selection so what we're gonna do just to make sure everything's right we're just gonna rewrite our characters into the notepad so bring up the select.def all right now go back to the character folder and here are the characters that we're gonna be writing in so we already have this guy, the base character. You got your your um you guys might have Steve here too. So if you have Steve, that's fine. So we're gonna use these random selects as character spots. So let's delete this random select and we're gonna add in for me I have Captain Falcon. So I'm gonna type it just as it looks. Captain Falcon and he's a mythos style character. So a Captain Falcon mythos. Okay. Let's erase Goku. Or erase random select and add Goku. Super Saiyan. Wait, space. SS3 space blue. Okay. And we're going to do that. Erase the random select. Add Jonathan. And let's do that for all the characters you have. I know it's kind of like you got to repeat what you already did, but this is the best way to make sure that the characters are going to line up correctly. Um, and if you want to try it the other way, go ahead and try it because sometimes it might work. You can just literally um, drag and drop your select.def into the new screen pack and you can see if it works. If it doesn't work, you might have to go back and do it this way, which is okay. I know some people probably have a lot of characters they're gonna have to like 
restart with, but got to do what you got to do. All right, so we got, we're almost done here. We got one more character. So let's erase this last random select here and add Kenshiro. All right, so we're going to save it. All right, we can close that out. Go back and let's start it up. Let's see if everything worked out. There you go. So I probably messed up on like this guy here. I oh, know it's there, I guess. His display picture is not showing, but his uh, his title is. But there you go. Um, now the characters are in. Let's just test them out real quick. There you go. So that's the basic way of getting a screen pack and like uh and as you can see this screen pack came with hound bars different style of hound bars and whatnot so you're also if you want the levels that you added it from your other mugen you're gonna have to do the same thing with the levels so if you wanted the other stages you're gonna go into stages drag and drop the stages from your old Mugen. So I have these stages here. So we're going to, let's say we want this one. We're gonna copy, paste it into the new one. All right, let's close out the old one here. Go back, go to data, go to select.def, go down, pass all the the uh, character selections and then extra stages look for this here and then uh, you can start right here so uh, let's go into the screen pack folder here go to stages where we just pasted the other stage there this stage is called aesthetic so let's type in aesthetic Aesthetic, okay. Dot def. Make sure you dot def. And then if you have another one you want to add, just press enter. Do stages slash, and then type in whatever the other one is, whatever it would be. Dot def, okay. And then just save that. And then go back. Go back into your Mugen. Just to check it out, let's do uh, training mode. Okay, this guy, and we'll do Goku. And then at the bottom, you can select the level. So there's a static field. Let's see if it loads up. There we go. So that's how we do it. We have our characters and our levels from our previous Mugen loaded into the screen pack. All right. So that's how you sauce up your Mugen. And if you guys want to see, I have another pretty dope screen pack I want to show you guys. You guys would like this one too. So if you guys are still here, you guys stuck around to the end. Here is a, like, a nice special little screen pack uh, I think you guys would really like. So let's go back into Mugen Archive. We're going to go back here. This is one I saw that looked pretty dope. So... Go to uh, page two. Page two. And look for legacy screen pack right here. Legacy screen pack. And it looks really dope. See? So here's the thing, though. This one is 158 megabytes. And if you have a new account here on Mugen Archive, you probably won't be able to download it. But if you try to download it, you you might get something like this. It's going to say inactive members may not download files larger than 100 megabytes. Okay, so it's all good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Google. Go to google.com. And then type in legacy screen pack. There you go. And then you'll see the first one that pops up by NOZ. Click that. And then you'll get to uh, Mugen Fighters Guild. 
MooginGuild.com. This is the screen pack here. This is the creator of the screen pack. And here it is here. So this is where he originally uploaded it. So what you want to do is click on this link here, screen pack. And there you go. You have the download link, the full download link accessible to download right here. So just download that. I already did. So mine's down here. Once it's done, do show in folder. All right. So we're back to like the same steps from our previous screen pack, the Minecraft one. So what we're going to do is um, double click that, open up the, the RAR file, drag it to your desktop. I already did right here. Same thing. You guys know how it's done. All right. So this is the legacy screen pack. All right. And same same situation here. But this is what it looks like here. You can check it out. Once it loads up, let's go. See, this one's a lot bigger, so it might take a little longer to load up. The other one was a lot smaller. This is over 100 megabytes, just in the screen pack alone. So we got to give it some time to load up. All right, here we go. So this one's pretty clean, I'm not going to lie. This one's looking very saucy. All right, so let's, let's check it out here. So you got the arcade mode versus mode so this one is very set up already like it looks really really good it looks, it's really dope all right so let's go to training there you go you have a big a nice big roster here a pretty big roster so let's check out this right here dang that fighting screen looks nice that fighting screen looks nice Look at the health bars and everything. So that's a pretty, pretty fire uh, screen pack right here. So if you guys want to get this one, this is called the Legacy Screen Pack. And uh, yeah, just play around with it. It's going to be the same situation like we just did. If you want to add your characters to it, just drag and drop your character. Uh, or not drag and drop. Copy paste your characters into this legacy screen pack same thing with the levels and then just type them in the uh select.def into the, the data folder here and that's pretty much it so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial here or really helped you out please drop a subscribe and a like and let me know if you guys need any other help on different tutorials um, I have some like uh, mobile Mugins I want to review with you guys. So that's going to be coming up pretty soon too. And peace out, y'all.